My name is Tyler Lay, and as you know, I love making videos about concrete. I'm also a professor at Oklahoma State University, and my students, I challenge them to make videos about concrete as well for a class project. And I'm gonna show them to you on my channel. And here's the first one. Oh, hi. My name is Zane. Uh, here at Oklahoma State, we do some crazy things for science. We've been tasked with uh, determining fire durability in concrete, but not just any fire. Residual heat of a furnace, baby. You know, cooking concrete is kind of like cooking cookies. If you cook it too long, it'll become brittle and gross. And we don't like brittle, gross concrete. We like we like nice, moist concrete that's going to do its job and tastes really good. Not really. But if you want to know why concrete's like cookies, check out Dr. Lay's video. So the goal is to put this in the 1100 degree furnace for half an hour, a long time. That, that really causes a lot of expansion and cracking inside the concrete. And what we want to do is figure out what's the compressive strength of that. Is it going to be lower or higher? Well, we're going to find out when we go over to the Instron with this bad boy right here. Let's go. We're going to put this baby in the Instron. This puppy has about 200,000 pounds of crushing force. But don't worry, we're not going to need that much. This sucker's going to crush under the weight of a couple Toyota Corollas. Let's see. With this Instron, we got this fancy computer software that'll tell us what the load is and what the shape of the failure is. Let's look at this. So if we look at this load graph, that bad boy failed at about 25,000 pounds, which, if you divide it by the area, comes out to just over 900 PSI. Well, unfortunately, typical concrete is about 3,000 PSI all the way up to 10,000 PSI. So we know that cooking it, man, took away a lot of strength, baby. Let's take a look inside. So what happens while it's in the furnace is all the aggregates and the paste inside start to expand and they want to um, push everything out of the way and this causes in some internal cracking. So whenever it starts cooling and we look at the inside and the outside, there's cracking that's very visual. Let's take a look inside. Look at all these cracks, baby. So many cracks. That's because the concrete cools and starts to shrink and pull back together, but all those micro cracks expand. This is degradation of the concrete. Okay. So uh, here at Oklahoma State, we love science. 